Bomb three, Foxtrot Tower, cleared for takeoff, fly runway heading. Current heading 322, two. maintain 15,000. Cessna 13 Foxtrot, approach, radar contact, stand by. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, except it's going to be about Flight Simulator 4. Uh, now I now have some videos on here uh, in regards to Flight Simulator 4 as far as some flights that I've done uh, as far as the world tour that I'm working on. And the reason why I'm doing this particular video uh, for my Shep Ramble series is because I am, I've been discovering new things with uh, Flight Simulator 4 that, well, I never really knew uh, when playing it because I didn't play it when it first came out. I mean, this is, ever since I started this world tour with all the different simulators, this is the actual first time that I've been messing around with uh, Flight Simulator 4. And as with all the other simulators, I am trying to push FS4 as far as I can um, to get things out of it, you know, that you wouldn't normally be able to get out of it, out of it uh, as default. And so one of those things is adventures. So I started looking into the adventures for FS4. And these things have got uh, scripts written to where you've got, uh, you can have like air traffic control uh, commands and voice and sounds being played. And, I'm, and I, I was looking at this and, and I was like, wow, this is, this is cool. This is like a whole new level that I haven't taken FS4 in yet. Um, if you watch my FS4 series, you'll notice that when I started it off, it started off with the default uh, sound. It didn't even have the sound and graphics uh, upgrade to it. Um, it was also using just default uh, scenery. And then I moved into the scenery discs from Sublogic. I also added the sound and graphics um, uh, accelerator, SGA, I, I forget. Um, so I added that to it. So now I started having actual engine sounds and you could hear the landing gear go going up and and stuff and it wasn't just a sound you know it actually sounded a lot better uh and then i went into actually creating uh airports because we started we were following the same flight plan as flight simulator 2 uh the, the sublogic version for commodore 64 but then we hit a point where we could no longer go with the commodore 64 so it had to stop but with flight simulator 4 where will it keep going? And, but there was no coverage. Uh, so I started creating uh, airports uh, in scenery. And, and then we got uh, to the point where we left off at um, uh, Wisconsin. Nope, sorry, not Wisconsin, Michigan. Houghton, Michigan. Should be, that should be right. Yeah. Um, so we stopped there and that's where all the other simulators that stopped some of them aren't even there yet so i have to uh catch up with them but the point is that i had put the world tours tour series on on hiatus so i could start working on catching up these other simulators but also going back to these old ones and trying to dig a little bit more into them to get something more out of it uh, and I'll be doing that with 5 and 98 and, and stuff as well because I am going to be continuing that world tour. And so what I've been playing with in uh, Flight Simulator 4 are the adventures. And it really just took it to a whole new level. Now, the thing is that I would have to create an adventure every single flight that we're going to do this is not something that you can just 
uh, load up a program and say, oh, I'm going from here to there. And, you know, it and it loads all that wonderful stuff in there. No, this this is actual like um, programming uh, stuff that you have to do on a text uh, text file and uh, and do that. So that's what this uh, episode is going to be. I'm going to show you what I've been fooling around with. Uh, with a file that I uh, downloaded uh, from the flightsim.com website as far as an adventure. It goes from Kankakee to uh, Megs in um, Illinois, Chicago. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And by the way, uh, what you see here around me is all the stuff that I've got for Flight Sim 4. So I've got the USA uh, West and East, and I've got the aircraft, um, air aircraft and scenery designer, and I've got the scenery enhancement, and the, um, the uh, I already mentioned the sound, sound of graphics and aircraft upgrade, and then the aircraft adventure factory, which is what is being used to do the adventures. So um, let's go ahead and let me share with you what I've been working on. It's not going to be perfect, but uh, let me share that with you. And then afterwards, I'll show you how it works. So here we are. We are in the adventure. And as you can see, it gives you some options there to, to start off with where you can do uh, just text, just voice, or if you want to have them both on there. Now to load an adventure, uh, you would go up here to mode one and go down here to adventure factory. And then you would uh, select the adventure, uh, A, B, A, B, C, D, E, um, or you know one if, there, you, if there's more listed that you don't see there. Number two, mixing engine noise on. That means that the uh, air traffic commands or whatever it is that you record it will play over you know, on top of the engine sound. So you'll hear them both at the same time. Otherwise, if you have that off, it cuts off the engine sound and then you just hear the air traffic, um, which is how it's set by default. And I just didn't quite like it. So I, I turned this part on. Uh, load adventure with the mode. I, I didn't mess with any of this other stuff, but anyway, obviously you load that up. And what we can go ahead and do is let's just go ahead and reset this again so that way you can see it from the beginning. We'll do reset current adventure, which is number nine, number nine, number nine. And right here. So voice only, text only, or R for both. So we're going to go ahead and hit R. And it says, welcome to the flight from KIKK, blah, 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 flight planner, converted adventure made by the pilot's power tools. Tune in to Raider Kankakee Clearance Delivery at 122.45, or press X to see some instructions. So let's press X, and R will repeat the last message. Pressing W activates FPAP, pressing E deactivates it, pressing J when tuned to... Uh, flight service will toggle request to go VFR, IFR, and the backslash will request a complete radar check, and there we go. So let's go ahead and go to 122.45. <laughs> what do you think about that? Now, for, for those of you flight simmers out there, do you recognize that voice? That is the default uh, ATC from Flight Simulator 2002-2004 FSX. Uh, I assume prepared is the same. I don't have it, but I'm assuming it's the same. And so what I did <clears throat> is I went into the, um, what is it, the edit voice pack? Where you can go in there and you can customize uh, your sounds and stuff. <laughs> and so I pieced together the phrases 
and then I recorded it as a wave and then you have to convert that to a VOC file which is an old audio file that was used by Creative Labs and then put that in there. It's getting, it's getting uh, annoyed with me. So, <laughs> we'll go in and uh, So we are all set to go. And that one was also from FSX. I just used another voice, pieced together the phrases, and recorded it. Now this adventure, this will always take off from runway 4 and will land at runway 6 at Meigs. This adventure does not change, you know, if the weather changes, you know, it doesn't change the... It's not that sophisticated. <laughs> you can set the adventure up uh, for whatever, you know, weather you want. But it's, it's not going to adjust the adventure based on how the weather is. You know, it's funny, uh, back when I had, uh, when I had started, I didn't start with Flight Simulator 5, but that was the first simulator I played with on the PC, was 5. Because before then, I was on the Commodore 64 and the Commodore Amiga. But with 5, they had adventures. Um, they had adventures, but you had to get the pilot shop adventure factory which I, I had pilot shop but I never did anything with adventures I just never never did anything with it and now after all these years with me going back to FS5 for the world tour series yeah now I am actually messing around with all the stuff that I didn't do the first time around that's what I mean we're I mean we're going to try to push these simulators as, as much as we possibly can. And I just want to give you, give you all a taste of what's to come in the uh, World Tour Series 4 Flight Simulator 4. So here's runway four. Contact tower on one two two point eight five when ready. One two two point eight five. Check your transponder, squawk three two zero five. Ah, uh, I forgot to change that. Three two zero five. Chesna 1-3, Foxtrot Tower, clear for takeoff, fly runway heading. <laughs> now that voice is actually from ProFlight Emulator. I got into the separate sounds for that and pieced together the phrase that I want. So this video was actually hours in the making. Just getting all of this... Uh, prepared and ready I, I ran some tests just to make sure that things were generally working um, and I made some fine-tuned adjustments but I haven't tested it from since then it's not supposed to be a perfect video but you know I want it to at least be you know in the ballpark <laughs> type of video In case you're wondering what that is up in the sky, those are clouds. I know that might be hard to believe, but that's what they are. Oh, 
Oh, and the sound effects I have actually upgraded. So you'll be hearing sound effects of the landing gear and which sound like they come from Flight Simulator 5 rather than 4 because I found something on flightsim.com. Hear that? To actually upgrade the, uh, the sound files. Okay, so see now it's giving me radar radar check. There, I have no voice file for this. Unfortunately, uh. One one eight point five five. Let's say one one eight point five five, right? That's the one three. See, that was an incomplete sound file that it did because I don't know what to because it it dynamically will give you your heading and your altitude. But it doesn't um, establish a heading of 27. Okay, well, let's go ahead and turn then. So, like, it tells you, okay, you need to turn this direction. But. Okay, so that one I have a recorded voice for. Let's go ahead and set the autopilot to uh, 3,000 here. There, 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 there. And we'll turn autopilot on. Contact Chicago Center on 133.20. Good day. So, and that also was from ProFlight Emulator. Say 133. Now, see, now the adventure is like saying, okay, hey, you need to switch. See, like I said, it's not perfect. And you can't. So that's a phrase that I had to piece together using the um, the default uh, ATC from US there three three five one center FSX vector ground storm cell. Now those voices are actually from the pilot's uh, pro tools or whatever that was. So this is all air, this is all Federal air Express chatter. And so again, this uses uh, VOC files, VOC files. So now it's giving me a radar check. Into cargo 662 center, we are cleared for flight level 12,000.
Now see, as we move forward, I can actually replace all of these recorded uh, make-believe chatter with real chatter. I, so I can th uh, throw that into uh, these adventures for Flight Simulator 4, which would really give it a whole new interesting uh, feel to the, to the simulator, as old as this is. I mean, look at what we're doing with it already. Now, what I was saying is that, yeah, there's these all these adventures you can download from FlightSim.com. Turn heading 322, maintain 15,000. And, like, this was one of them. I've edited. I've been making changes and edits to it with the text, so that way it matches the recorded files. The thing is, is that all the recorded files that it references were not included at all. So they're... None of the stuff was recorded. Um, from what I understand, the voice files were pretty large back in the day. They're nothing now, <laughs> you know, with the way computers are. But I think that's one reason why those all those uh, recordings uh, were not made. And I think also, too, I think people just made the, the adventures and... Maybe they just didn't record anything for them. I don't know. U.S. Air Express Center. Be advised of significant turbulence in the area. It's really hard to say with all the years that have passed, you know. Did people actually make adventures that had voice files that came with them? They're not on any of the ones that I downloaded. I downloaded all of the adventures that were um, on Flight Sim dot com and none of them had the voice files at all so the only voice files I got was from this uh, pilot pro adventure thing which I can't seem to remember the name of which actually I think I can not here I'm going into another you can't see it, but I'm on another window here. Good day. Good day. Pilot's power tools, that's what it was. So I can go in there and I can change all that. And I'll show you the text file um, where all the magic is happening. I haven't quite figured out... Um, how to put in the destination airport. The, it's stuff I've got to kind of uh, fool around with. Piper 6229 Center, turn heading 080, maintain turn altitude. But yeah, this is, uh, this is what I'm currently working on, and the next set of flights that I'll be doing on the world tour is going to be having uh, this level of uh, detail in it to make it special. And I'm also wondering, uh, would you guys be interested in a separate Flight Sim 4 series that's uh, set apart from the world tour of just uh, using the, uh, the USA East and West uh, scenery? Um, would you be interested in something like that that just that did not have any talking or face cam just had a flight from one major city to another major city I was thinking about calling it flight sim or flight simulator for adventures American 267 please repeat that last request maybe add a little bit of music not through the whole thing but you know a little bit here there if you if you look at the um the North to South America tour that I've got going on right now for FSX. Something like that, but maybe n not as much. You know, it's just a, a, a just a fun little video from one set. I don't know. I don't know. Would you be interested in that? 
Citation two two zero. I could put one together and see where it goes. If you guys like it or not. If you guys like it, I can do more of them. Or I can call it the USA tour. How about Flight Simulator 4 Adventures in the USA? <laughs> it's got some possibilities. Now this uh, adventure is interesting because it will actually guide you to one of the vores and then from there it guides you to the, the airport. The sample adventure that I looked at does not American have that. It's just heavy. from takeoff to landing it didn't have anything in between zero. covered. So. And there's nothing really. There's nothing really written to be able to get the stuff to to work. So I'm gonna have to take a look at the different adventure files that people have made and compare them and see what's different and try to figure out. Oh, okay, I see what they did here. So I, I kind of have to retro work this, I guess. Uh, if I remember correctly, the programming language that the adventure is made in is QBasic. Okay, so this is telling us the. Uh, I did make a recording for that, but it didn't seem like it played on that one. Oh, okay. That one played though. Citation two two zero center, climb to fifteen thousand, watch for traffic westbound. Let's change our um Autopilot here to 2500. United 337 Heavy Center, prepare for handoff to approach when you reach 3000. You know the voices that I was hearing where it says be advised of significant turbulence in the area? I've heard that somewhere before and I can't place it. It's like I want to say I heard it. I want to say I heard it from Flight Sound. I wonder if it was. Um, like. Uh, Pro Flight 98 or 2000 or maybe it was some other game but it just it sounds familiar and I think uh, SimCity had like VOC files in it too
see here it's telling me okay your hitting should be close to three now how does that actually work I don't know <laughs> like I said I'm I'm playing an adventure that someone else created but I just modified it I modified like the text in it so that way I could uh, it would match uh, the recordings and also it's got my call sign Cessna 13 Foxtrot that uh, oh, and I forgot what the name of that one was that airport it's in the world tour I remember that <laughs> I want to say Lansing. I think it's Lansing. American 2143, and maintain 7,000. You need a hold at the marker. In case you're wondering, this is using default scenery. This is not using um, USA East uh, because the adventure was not designed around it. So if I tried to use USA East, everything would just be all out in the wrong place. It wouldn't be in the right place at all. But the graphic at the beginning of the video that I w that was behind me with all the different. Uh, that graphic was taken at taken at Meigs Airport using USA East. So all the um, all the skyscraper buildings in Chicago, there's a lot of them there for the uh, with the Sublogic USA East uh, scenery. Okay, so 118.80. Again, that's using the default FSX uh, voices. Piece together words and the phrases and record it. And saved over to a VOC file using Audacity. That's what I used. And if you're interested in getting back in the Flight Simulator 4 and maybe doing some of the stuff um, and you'd like some tutorials, let me know. I can uh, put those together. I don't know how much of a demand there would be for it. Only thing now is you can hear that static in the in the background that sound doesn't sound the greatest, but.
the Megs Airport American is going to be ahead there. Turn right for Expect dial oh, and it's randomly choosing this chatter. So it's not going to be the same chatter every time that you play. And it's just generic chatter. Nothing specific to any specific area. But you can most certainly get recorded air traffic for the areas that you're flying in, put them into the adventure and, you know, really uh, get some immersement there. That's what I've done on the world tour for, like, Flight Simulator 5 and uh, 98. Those, those two use uh, air traffic control chatter that I've downloaded and put together into the um, into the programs for that one and then um, I use it for do I have it going for FSX? Yeah, I think I do actually. Yeah, I've got the uh, live ATC chatter program, whatever that's called. Tell you what, it makes a huge difference uh, in your flight sim when you're hearing real air traffic. It just really adds to it. And just playing around with this adventure itself right here just really adds so much more uh, to the flight, you know, than what was there before. You know, if you just like a nice quiet flight, you know, great. American 267 but Heavy Center. Climb to flight level 340. Traffic eastbound at flight level 320. This really adds a nice little touch, I think. I like how it says expect vectors, but I don't, whoa. But I don't remember ever getting any vectors when testing this stuff out. What was it 120.95? American 2143, and maintain 7,000. Can you hold at the marker? I don't have anything recorded for this. It's like observed noise, uh, something is in effect, whatever that is. If I used a text to speech generator, I could have it say that. So slow down here. Bestnet land three, F track tower, clear to land runway three, six, wing three, six, zero, act two. And that voice was another one from Pro Flight Emulator. I like Pro Flight Emulator because of all the voices that are that are in that. It really adds some nice variety. Oh, the graphics are getting a little funny there.
dynamic scenery, that is another thing that I want to um, add to uh, airports in the world tour. So that way you can see planes uh, taking off and coming in and actually have some air traffic going. I was putting that work into uh, Flight Simulator uh, 5, I think. 5 and 98. No, I think it's 98 and 2000. I don't think the thing I had worked for. It's called Real ATC. You have to actually record your own air traffic. So, I mean, it, you got to put in, you know, the work into into this into this stuff. You know, back in the day, I just wanted to fly. I don't want to do all that 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 crazy stuff. I just wanted to fly from one location to another. Okay, so we're cleared of the runway. Now we'll just go to um Oops. <laughs> what I meant to do was bring my flaps up. Okay. It was uh Contact ground on one, two, one, point, niner, zero. <laughs> niner, zero. <laughs> okay. And there we go. That was pieced together using the, uh, see, now the adventure file is concluded. So yeah, I took that, vo uh, FSX voice and, uh, pieced together parts of words and stuff to form new words. That's what the edit voice pack is. You, you take bits and pieces of words to form new words and phrases to add uh, ident you know, names to all the different uh, airports so you don't have to hear a letter. Oops. Come right over here to the fuel parking here. There we go. All right. So there is the adventure. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the magic behind the scenes. Okay, so we're here on the desktop of my uh, computer. Um, like I was saying, uh, the Chicago that you see, this is from the USA East uh, from Sublogic. I, I just it's so impressive that they've got all these buildings in here. They even got the red one. <laughs> but I just I think this is really cool and I don't know. I, I it might be neat to actually have a um a separate series of flight sim 4 where we're just flying, you know, around the country with the uh, sub sublogic uh, scenery this cuz this is actually a complete set. USA West and USA East actually has the whole USA as opposed to the individual scenery discs um, like Run Through Six and uh, which is like the whole West Side but like they didn't have the complete East Side they had like 
seven, uh, like eight and ten were missing, and there's nine, eleven, and twelve, and yeah, so, and the quality is different too. Uh, the they've they've bumped up the quality on the the USA East and West, so like the scenery that you're seeing there, that that's not even on the the regular sublogic scenery disc uh, for this specific area. It's just it's crazy, but it's um it's it's a very neat uh, collection, very hard to find too. So here's the magic right here. It's in a text file. And uh, generally what people will do is they will go in here and they will, you know, take someone else's adventure file and, and they'll change it and put their own things in there. So this is created back in July of 1993. Um, this is all uh, commented out. You can change the frequencies to whatever you want. Um, and then we start getting into the ifs and thens and, and things. So here's where it starts off, where it says um, right here. So uh, press W for voice, E for text, or R for both. And then you've got, uh, okay, we're going to check to see which one you're going to press and then tell you which where, where you're going to go. It's going to set some variables. And then here it starts setting like, okay, uh, winds and surface loft, all that other stuff. And then here is the beginning here where it says welcome to to the flight from da 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 that's where all this is at so this print it's printing this to the screen now when we get here you can see this says if if the com is set to this then play a hash uh, voc that's the zzz sound that you heard and then it will play this this file so all the recorded files that I did, I named them after what was listed here. So some of them, uh, some of them I was able to record stuff for, and some others I just didn't know what to do. But uh, as you scroll down, you'll see, uh, like, okay, here you press X, and this gives you like all the all the different things that uh, you could do. We looked at that before, but here it is again. Um, if your comm is tuned in to 121.90, now it says, oh, okay, uh, this is ground, text to and hold short OC. So it's printing what it would put on the screen if that's what you uh, elect it. And that's what it will play um, if you have the file. So that gives you kind of an idea. So it's a lot of if thens and loops. Uh, there's something in here. Here's the part with the transponder. So it's checking to see if, oh, like here it is right here. If the transponder is 3205, then do this. Um, but if it's not, then it's like, oh, hey, uh, check your transponder. So again, here is another uh, file for that. So that gives you kind of the idea of this in, in itself. And let me show you the uh, random air chatter, which is right right down here so and I it's ATC chatter I kind of added the word center in there because this is all basically center but this is all random so and I don't know the specifics of all the variables of how it works um, it probably would be good if I you know maybe brush up on some Q basic skills but you can see that you know here's all the voice files and here's the uh, printed version. All of these voice files I was able to find. I was able to find these. I wasn't able to find anything else though. So so yeah, so it, it will randomly choose any of this uh, random air traffic. And you can go in here and you can change to print this whatever you want or just remove the print command and just have it play the voice file if you want that, um, which uh, I would probably do uh, instead of trying to write out, you know, actual real ATC chatter that, you know, you put in the and put in the game. But let's go ahead and pull up. Let's see. Okay. So here is 
my Flight Sim 4 uh, folder here just to show you that I am not just adding these sounds uh, at post editing or anything. Here are all the voice files right here. Now you can name them VO1, VO2. That's how it was named in the in the uh, adventure script. And so I just followed the same thing. I just did a copy and paste to make sure they were right. But if I take this and just pull over here. Now it sounds better here than what it did in the actual game. It actually uh, made it sound a lot different. Here's the hash uh, VOC. See, there's just that. But I can go through and just pick all the you know the different ones that I have. Cessna one three Foxtrot departure. Cessna one three Foxtrot Tower contact departure on one one eight point five five. Good day. I don't think we heard that one. So like I recorded it, but it didn't play it. So that's all the changes there. Now something else that I also wanted to kind of uh, show you is I to told you of how um, I upgraded the sound effects. There's actually a, um, I could put it in the, in the description, but there's a, uh, a file that you can download from flightsim.com that has some upgraded sound effects that you can replace in your Flight Simulator 4 to be able to get it to sound uh, better. So I'm going to put that right over here so that way you can hear the the differences between them. I didn't change everything. I just changed the things that I use like like the guns for example. That I I what I'm not going to use that. So <laughs> but here is the original sound for crash. Okay, that's the original one. Um that's if you have remember this is sound and graphics uh, aircraft up upgrade. You have to have that or you won't have these sounds at all. Um, you're just going to have the PC speaker sound. So that is the original crash that came with the SGA and here is the upgraded one that I got from flightsim.com <laughs> and I think and I, I think they got these files from Flight Sim 5 and just converted them to be able to use in Flight Sim 4, I think is what it is. Because the, the landing gear up and down is definitely from Flight Sim 5. I, I recognize it. Here are the original ones for 4. That's up. That's down. Now here are, here are the upgraded ones that I found on FlightSim.com. And then the prop actually sounds the same, except this one here, I don't know why, but it makes it sound slower. <laughs> but the, um, here is the, that's the um, replacement there. Then there's Screech. Uh, for some reason, I can't get that to play on VLC Media Player. By the way, um, the VLC files, about the only thing you can use to get it to play on is VLC or Audacity. Um, it won't play on uh, real media player or Windows media player. But then there's a Splash. Here's the original. If you hit the water, here's the newer one. It sounds like someone just jumped in the pool. Here's Thunder. Here's a new one. Sounds kind of cool. But um, anyway, uh, there you go. Just uh, some fooling around, just showing you the magic behind the um, 
behind the actual flight just to kind of show you that you know this is this is for real i mean this is not made up or anything and this is what i'm working on uh, as far as with the uh, world tour so um the area that we're going uh there's not going to be any coverage for flight simulators one two and three so they're just on the back burner at the moment until uh we continue with um uh, until we get back to them so flight sim 4 is where where i'm going to be continuing with and i want to um, not only get this air traffic control and chatter going but get you know the uh atc on that atc air air traffic in the sky is flying in and leaving and everything and just you know really just doing something really cool with flight sim 4 and uh and sharing that with all of you uh, for those of you who were like, man, this is so cool, but man, I don't have the time to do all this crap. <laughs> hey, you're in luck because I'm going to be doing it and you guys can check it out. So uh, that's it. Uh, that's all I've got. Uh, let me know what you think about all this uh, in the comments below. Uh, is this exciting to you? Or do you want to see actual uh, Flight Sim uh, 4 videos um, of just a separate series apart from the World Tour? No, let me know. Let me know what your interest is, is in all this. And uh, subscribe if you're new here. And thumbs up if you like this video. And um, check out everything else that I have on this channel. Because there's a, there's a ton of stuff. Alright, well thanks for watching. And I'll see you on another rambling video.